following program is paid for by the friends and partners of faithchurch.com. Make sure to get your tickets today for the 2018 I Am Woman Conference Rise. I'm already looking forward next year. We're already planning it. We got our tickets. I absolutely love it. It was awesome. Oh, this is great. Unbelievable. It's a wild party. It rocks. I'm having a great time. Happening June 8th and 9th in St. Louis. Get your tickets before they're gone. Hi, friends. I cannot wait to tell you about something that I just think you're going to love. You know when you get something really great and you don't want your friends to miss out on it? This is that thing. You see, I Am Woman is having another women's conference right here in St. Louis, June 8th and June 9th. Oh my gosh, my friends, Dr. Dee Dee Freeman, who is off the charts, just so hot, so fabulous. Oh, 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 Lisa Cherkurst. Oh, she's a best-selling author. She wrote Uninvited. She wrote Made to Crave. She wrote The Best Yes. They're both coming. And this year, we have a musical artist. None other than Kira Sheard is going to be in the house slaying it. Now, the premium tickets are sold out because they go so fast. You have to get them like a year in advance, but regular standard tickets are still available. And we have student tickets this year to make it more available for our young college and high school friends. So you want to get yours. Here's how you get it. You go to www.imwoman.tv, not .com, .tv, www.imwoman.tv. What are we going to do? We're going to get together. We're going to hang out. We're going to eat. It includes a box lunch. It includes a live breakfast because it's Friday night and Saturday. It includes an after party. It includes music. Creativity, like, I know they're showing you pictures of it right now because I just can't even explain to you. This is not your mama's women's conference, honey. You are going to have so much fun. Guys, dads, husbands, boyfriends, if you totally want to rate, here's what you want to do. You want to get the ticket for your wife and a friend give them the weekend to go away, and I promise you, we are gonna send them home happy, joyful, and just make you so happy when they come home. So, how do you get your ticket again? www.iamwoman.tv. What are we gonna be talking about there? Well, I am one of the speakers this year, and we had a women's event. This wasn't the conference, but it was an event called Imagine, just a few months ago. We talked about getting a vision for your life and where you can go. Let's jump right into that right now, and you can get a little flavor for what you're gonna see at the conference. Unicorns for real. It only took them two years to find us one. It's so fun to ride out on a unicorn, isn't it? <gasps> isn't she pretty? I have a question for you. What is it that you expect out of life? That sounds maybe kind of like a deep question. You're like, wow, you're hitting me with the deep stuff straight off the gate. I mean, come on. But you should have some kind of picture in your mind. Let me ask you this. If you have some kind of picture in your mind of what you expect from life, just raise your hand and say, Amen. Amen. If a little bit of it scares you, raise your hand and say, Oh, me. Oh, me. <laughs> what do you expect out of life? Well, chances are somebody told you early on kind of what you should expect out of life. And I remember my mom telling me when I was little that I was going to probably be one of two things. She's like, I think you're going to be a lawyer. I'm not sure she meant it as a compliment. I think she meant it as I argue really well. And then she always, she would tell me too, I think you could be our first woman president. Which now that I'm older and look back and think about the timing of those statements, I translate as you're just a little bit bossy enough to boss everybody in the country around. But she, she put some of these things in front of me that were really big for some girl that lived off of a dirt road in a country town. We didn't even have, we didn't even have like the good gravel. We had like the loose gravel. I, I'll tell you what, if I ride a bicycle, I am not falling off because I learned to ride on a gravel road, right? Off road riding was my road riding. And, and there were animals there on there. And it's not a place where you think that big attorneys or, or government officials would come from. But I had this vision, everybody say vision. I remember another little girl telling a story. I was listening to this girl tell a story about what was put in front of her. And um, she, was said, she was told by her grandma, her grandma said, girl, you got to get some good folks to take care of you. Make sure they treat you nice. Make sure they talk to you nice. Make sure they send you home with food. That's the kind of people you want to work for. So I need to teach you to fold this laundry. 
because you're going to be raised up to be a good maid. And that girl said, uh-uh, Grandma. My name might be Oprah, but I don't see that kind of future for me. She said, I always knew there was more. I always knew there was more. And I'm so proud of her for so many reasons, one of which being the future that was set in front of her to look at, to gaze upon. That's why we do outrageous things at our I Am Woman events, because we want to stretch you out just a little bit. Why be normal and give you more of what you've got? Instead of, let's put a unicorn for you to take a picture of. Let's ride out here on a motorcycle. Let's drop things out of the sky. Let's get a little bit crazy because the life that you're living in your present is not the life that God has for you to live in your future. He has a future that's much bigger for you. So if you would turn with me to Genesis 15, 5, if you have a Bible. If you don't, we've got it on the screens. No big deal. And it says the Lord talks to Abram. So there is this guy, and he's unable to have children. And he's received a promise of God. Turn to your neighbor and say, I got a promise. <laughs> There's this little guy named Abram, but he's got a promise. He's older. He's childless. But he's enjoyed trying. But you're not blessed back in those days if you don't have a baby. So he's getting a little bit frustrated because what he has been promised, he hasn't been able to see it happen in this realm yet. You see, there's a realm so much bigger than the physical realm that we live in. Girlfriends, we are not, um, this experience is a very temporary experience. I had a, a friend say that life is like the parentheses in the middle of a sentence. When the parentheses open, that's when you're birthed into this world. And when the parentheses, parentheses close, that's when you come out of this world. But really, that's just between the parentheses. You're, you're in the middle of an uh, eternity-long sentence. This is such a small piece. But we get so wrapped up in this small piece and only what we can see with our eyes. And we start thinking, I can't see anything good happening for me. And the problem is that's when the enemy is trying to grain our attention. Because what you look at matters. If you're a note taker, I want you to write that part down. If you're a tweeter, if you're an Instagram poster, write what you look at matters. And God knew that with Abram. So with Abram in Genesis 15 verse 5, he tells Abram, he's like, Abram, you're getting caught in the parentheses. You're getting caught in a few years of time. And my dream for you is so much bigger than that. So I want you to go outside. He's like, God, it's cold out. I got my blankets on. God's like, Abram, get out the tent. You can't like think that everything was so formal and everybody was so immediately obedient and that they used the theeth and the thoueth because Abram was just a man. And when a man is settled down for the night and comfortable, <laughs> trying to get him out of his easy chair is hard to do. Right? So it, Abraham wasn't just like, pop right out and head out. He's like, God, oh, I'm comfortable. I wonder how many of us won't look at the future that God has for us because we're too comfortable in the present that we're in, even though we're going to complain about it. He's like, Abraham, come on outside. All right, I'm going outside. What do you want, God? Look up at the heavens. Yeah, they're really nice. Heard you live there. Probably got a deluxe apartment in the sky. God's like, you notice the stars? He's like, yeah, they're really pretty. Count them. Count the stars? Yeah, count them, Abram. Well, <laughs> God, I can't. I mean, they're everywhere. You see, they weren't exactly in the middle of New York City. They were out there before lights existed, and you could really see all the stars. You ever been out on a lake camping or something at, at, at nighttime in the country, and you didn't realize how many stars there were? That's the experience that Abram was having right then. And he's looking at the sky, and he's like, God, the stars are so many, I can't count them. And God looks at him and says, now you're getting the picture. That's how many descendants you're going to have. You see, he knew that Abraham, it's actually at the time, his name was Abram. He hadn't even gotten the name Abraham yet. At the time, Abram was so stuck in looking at his present that he couldn't get a vision for the future that God has. 
Tonight, we're going to bust out of your presence. We're going to get you out of the parentheses. We're going to get you believing that God is bigger than you can ask, that you can think, or that you can imagine. So is this getting you pumped up? Are you already like, oh, I need to dream again. I need to dream bigger. Hi, you're in your living room. You still haven't brushed your teeth. You're still in bed. Your hair is frumpled and, and you're not in the environment. And think of how this is already pumping you up. This is why, friends, you can't miss the conference. And I know this little thing of, of, of me talking to you, you, you don't have a picture of it just yet. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you just a little glimpse of some conference highlights that are about to jazz you. But while we're doing the conference highlights, pull out your phone, get out your laptop, go to www.imwoman.tv. Or if, you, if you're not good at that, just give us a call real quick. Tickets are $45, but you gotta get them before Memorial Day. So don't miss that. Tickets are $45. Get your tickets before prices go up and get them before they sell out because premium tickets are gone. Standard and student tickets are available. www.iamwoman.tv and this is what we've done in the past. We are called to do hard things as women and we don't have to, you know, break each other down or compare ourselves at all. Like, um, we're all fighting hard fights and it was just great to see the camaraderie, to see everyone come together. I could just tell everyone was jazzed and we went outside and um, lit the sparklers and it was just a beautiful moment. <laughs> Verses 14 and 15, and it says, After Lot had gone, the Lord said to Abram, Look as far as you can see in every direction. What you're looking at matters. Look as far as you can see in your earning potential. Look as far as you can see in your giving potential. Look as far as you can see, and with long life, I will be satisfied and shown his salvation. Look as far as you can see in relationship satisfaction and feeling loved. 
Look as far as you can see in living a happy, joyous, no anxiety, no depression kind of life. Look as far as you can see, he said to Abram, in every direction. It's north, south, east, west. God wants to take you so far into your future. Everything that you can see in your future is yours. Execution, that's important. But visualization, that's imperative. You're only going to get what you can see. So we have to start seeing with our eyes of faith. What is faith? What is faith? Well, Hebrews 11 1 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things you can't see. You can't see them. That means in this realm, they don't exist to touch. He wants you to see outside your scope. He wants you to see outside of your realm. Why? Because it will change your belief system. It doesn't matter what your second grade teacher told you. It doesn't matter what your mama or your daddy told you. It doesn't matter what your boss told you yesterday. We need to put in front of us the promise of our God and know that we are a child of the Most High King, and we need to start looking far out in every direction. We have to be able to visualize it because the enemy, the enemy's really honestly been working on me lately. He has. He's been having me doubt myself in areas that I was confident in the past. I felt strong in these certain areas. And then all of a sudden I started wondering, well, am I really good at that? Am I really, should I even do that? And I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm a waste of time over here. And I started doubting myself. The problem with doubting your potential is you will live up to your potential. Amen. If you flip-flop that, the good thing about seeing your potential is you will live up to your potential. The awesome part about that is we control where we put our potential. So where are we going to put the dot? Are we going to move it down here? Well, I'm just not as good as them, and I'm not as good a mom, and I'm not as good a wife, and I'm not as good a worker, and I'm not as good a prayer, and I'm not as good a church member. So I'm just going to, oh, God, what am I? God, why did you ever make me born? And then you watch yourself cry in the bathroom mirror. And you hold up the tissues because you don't want anybody else to know. And then the toilet paper leaves those little white things. Mm -hmm. I know. Don't ask me how I know. (laughs) What am I good at? Anyway. And the devil's like, I got them right where I want them. They think they're no good. And therefore, they're not going to be able to get very far. We have to say, you know what? I have failed in my past. And I have made several mistakes. And I have no idea why God picked me. But I guess the pickings got slim. (laughs) And I was the best choice in the field. So here he's got me right here in this place at this time. And if he sees something in me, then I should see something in me because he wouldn't put me somewhere that I would fail, not when I'm with him, because with men this is impossible, says Matthew 19, 26, but with God all things are possible. All things are possible. Come on, somebody. The enemy is digging at your confidence. This is your visualization opportunity. This is where you close your eyes and you start seeing you overcoming. Where you close your eyes and you start seeing you getting the raise. This is where you close your eyes and you see you opening the business anyway. This is where you close your eyes and you see the bank giving you the loan. This is where you close your eyes and you see the cancer numbers and the white blood cell numbers going back to where they should be. This is where you close your eyes and you see your husband having a smile on his face when he comes home from work. This is where you close your eyes and you see the kids 
setting the table for dinner and nobody's killing anybody. This is when you close your eyes and you see a gathering of women around you when I could never have a girlfriend before in your life and suddenly you feel supported. This is when you close your eyes and see you being voted president of the company, running that sucker the way you know you can run it. This is when you close your eyes and see yourself being elected into that position so you can finally really change something. This is when you close your eyes and you see the scale coming into agreement with what you always thought could happen, but you weren't sure was happening. God has big things for you. Come on, somebody. But we have to keep that vision in front of us. You know, in, in Genesis eleven six, 6, they were building the Tower of Babel. And he says, nothing that they have imagined will be impossible to them. Steve Harvey keeps his imagination active. Do you know 3.5 used to be the big, big number, the ratings number that he would always go for. So he would have 3.5 put on the inside sleeve of his suit. So the whole time he's out there hosting Family Feud, hosting Little Big Shots, hosting all these shows, he sees 3.5, 3.5, 3.5. We're, go we're going for the 3.5. He believes in keeping his goals in front of him so much, he sews them onto the inside of the hem of his jacket. When he looks, he's like, I'm going to own my own material in Hollywood. I'm going to have seven shows, and they're all going to be 3.5. And he's going to buy an $8 million boat. He's going to invite me on it. And I'm going to say, if Steve Harvey can have an $8 million boat, we can build a church in Ferguson. Right? That's my heart. That's my vision board. That's what's on. That's one of the things that's on my thing. Have giving goals. Have generosity goals. Have health goals. Have, have materialistic goals. Girl, put your handbag on there. Because different goals will get you going on different days. And once you can see the potential, it will make you move further than you ever thought you could move. Was that all right for today? Can I pray with you? Father God, I just pray for all my girlfriends right now. God, I pray that the seeds of your dreams are planted in their heart. And God, I know you planted those dreams so long ago. But God, plant them again. Resurrect those dreams. So many of them, we've dug the, the grave for one shovel at a time. I just can't. Not anymore. That time has passed. It's over for me. But it's not over. The plans that God had for you He's speaking to my heart for you right now. He said, I never changed those plans. Why did you? Father God, we thank you for believing in us even when we don't believe in ourselves. And Father God, I just declare that fire is coming up in them and vision is coming up in them and excitement is coming up in them and courage is coming up with them. And Father God, I declare that businesses are being birthed and inventions are being, being ingenuously put together in their mind. I declare that patents that were pending are coming through and books that were supposed to be written begin to flow. God, I declare that those children who would not come into line, God, that they won't only come into line, but they will come in line in such a great way that they're going to begin to support their parents and push their parents, God. I declare that doors are opening up, that scholarships are coming, that internships are coming, that apprenticeships are coming, that positions are coming, that grants are coming. God, I declare that a flood of favor is coming, and we will receive it, and we will no longer say that that's not for us, for we know that we are children of the Most High King, and we are called to live it out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. If you believe it, give God a hand clap of praise. Are you starting to get an idea of what I'm talking about? How this is different? This isn't your grandma's church and this is not the last women's conference you went to. This is going to pump you up. Are you ready to be pumped up? Are you ready for some more life? I know you are. Me too. That's why also I want to share with you right now. So, I have a tendency to get a little excitable, as you can tell. 
but my friend Lisa Turkhurst, who is the best-selling author of so many best-selling books of Unglued, Uninvited, Made to Crave, The Best, Yes, and the list goes on and on. She's coming and she's a little more um, systematic, a little more reserved. And she really speaks to that, that deep person. So maybe you're a deep person. Maybe that, that kind of author mentality speaks to you. I want I wanted to share a few minutes with you of what it's like when my friend Lisa Turkhurst is gonna come and speak some life into you and, and encourage you. So right now, let's go to Lisa Turkhurst. But before we go, while you're listening to her, pull out your phone, get your laptop, go to www.iamwoman.tv to get your tickets for $45. It includes Friday night, it includes the after party, it includes the live breakfast, it includes the session Saturday, it includes the, the box lunch. It includes Kira Sheard as our musical guest. It, it includes everything. It's $45 for two days. You're not gonna believe this. I wanna introduce you to Lisa Turkhurst, but while we do, get your tickets at www.iamwoman.tv. Lisa Turkhurst has appeared on CBN's The 700 Club and The Today Show. She's a New York Times best-selling author. And as the founder of Proverbs 31 Ministries, she's helped to lead thousands of women to make their walk with God an invigorating journey. In the in-between, we have these things called problems, and it can lead to this question, what do you do when you don't know what to do? Sometimes the hardship of our life, we see it one day at a time. God sees the whole thing and calls it a destiny. We see it every day, and sometimes those problems can overshadow what God wants us to remember, and that is His promises. You don't want to miss this year's conference, but tickets are going quick. Premium tickets are all sold out, and standard tickets are going fast. And the price goes up after Memorial Day weekend. So get your tickets today at IamWoman.tv. Lisa Turkhurst is a boss, y'all. But you know what? You know what I know about you? You are too. And you might not be feeling like it. You might be feeling like, I'm so far from a boss. I'm more like a couch potato. That's because you need a conference to breathe life into you. So why haven't you done it yet? Why haven't you gotten your tickets yet? You need to call your mom, call your sister, call your cousin, or buy the ticket now, make them pay for you later. And get your ticket and get there www.iamwoman.tv. I know your phone's in your hand. Just put it in there, check it out. When you get on the webpage, it's gonna give you all the details you need. Starts at 7.30 on Friday night. We got the session, we got the after party, we got the free gift if you're the first 1,200 tickets, but we're really close on that, so hurry, because I don't want to promise something you can't get. The ticket's only $45. There's some food at the after party. Saturday morning light breakfast. We got sessions. We got special music. We got artist Kira Sheard with us. We got Dr. Dee Dee Friedman. We got Lisa Turkhurst. We got me. Oh my gosh, there's just so much. $45 doesn't cover what you're getting, and it certainly doesn't cover the way you will feel when you leave. So right now, come on, I mean it. Get on there, www.iamwoman.tv. Call the number. Tickets are $45. Student tickets are even cheaper. Get yours before they sell out. And I will see you on June 8th and June 9th right here in St. Louis. Make sure to get your tickets today for the 2018 I Am Woman Conference Rise. I'm already looking forward next year. We're already planning it. We got our tickets. I was inspired. I was empowered by the speakers. Just all the wonderful women just coming together. Just an amazing event. I'm just, I'm ready to take on the world. Happening June 8th and 9th in St. Louis and happening June 22nd and 23rd in West Palm Beach. Get your tickets before they're gone. The preceding program has been paid for by the friends and partners of faithchurch.com.